The Met Office has issued a rare red weather warning. Some very strong winds, particularly affecting coastal areas. Conditions really are brutal. There's driving, rain, dropping temperatures, and winds are forecast to potentially gust to up to 90 miles an hour. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So this week we have just had so many storms that I've got to the point where I've run out of uh, footage or trips that have been on up north. One of my first videos that I ever recorded, in fact the first video I ever recorded, was 10 things that you should have in the van to make your life a bit more comfortable. If I'm honest with you, I never intended to show this video. Um, it was my first ever video, it was more of a practice, um, but as I say, there's been storm after storm after storm, and I've not been anywhere. Um, so I went back through my footage, I had a look at it, and actually it's alright, there's a lot of good stuff in there, so I thought it'd be pretty good just to show you what it was like, and uh, let you judge for yourself. So this week's video is some useful things that you've got in the van. Now some of them you've probably got, there might be a few in there that you just think, oh that's a good idea. What I've done is uh, most of the things I've got from Amazon are pretty lazy that way. I just buy stuff on Amazon except where I've named the manufacturer in the list. Um, so I've put the links in the description in the video below. So please feel free to just dive on and uh, click those links. With each of those items, I've already looked for the best price. So, um, I mean, it's always worth checking, but um, I've picked the best item that suited me. So without further ado, here's the video. Let me know what you think. As I say, first ever video. Oh, see you soon. Welcome to the channel. 10 things that I'm going to show you that are really important if you want to have great fun in your van, make it really comfortable and just have a great life, a great van life. So without further ado, here are 10 things. Okay, so the first thing that we've got here is the AeroPress coffee maker. Now I'm a massive coffee monster, so uh, for me, going anywhere in the van, I need to have really nice coffee, filtered coffee. So what we've got here is the AeroPress uh, coffee maker with the tote bag. This is a little kit. So basically in here you've got the actual AeroPress machine and the thing I like about it the most is that it's very clean and that's really important for the van. You don't want it to have coffee grounds going down your sink and clogging it up or onto you know, wherever you're parked up. And The great thing about this is when you um, take the, the tube out the top, you put the filter paper in, there's, there's a bunch of filter papers actually included when you buy this kit, you pop a filter in this bit in the bottom here, put that on there, you pop your coffee in the top with the measuring spoon that comes with the kit and then um, that goes straight on top of your mug. You use the plunger to plunge the coffee through and that goes through the machine and at the end of it all what you end up with is a little what they call a puck as in an ice hockey puck of coffee here in the bottom and you can just simply unscrew the, the filter from the bottom, get your rubbish bag and just give it a sharp hit and that will eject the puck into your waste bag. I think it's probably one of the best things I've bought for the van and that's why it's at number one. The next item of course as many people say is the old Ridge Monkey. Now for me when you're out in the van uh, you want simple meals and the Ridge Monkey does just make your life that little bit easier. Um, this one is called the Ridge Monkey Connect compact sandwich toaster. Again, I've just got mine on Amazon, but with this the important thing is that you get the compact one because I accidentally bought the full size one and of course in the VW you want to make as much uh, use of the space as you can. So the great thing about this is obviously it comes in its own little tote bag thing here, which is like a um, little elasticated bag. You pull that aside and you've got your two sandwich pans here with the hinge joint. Now I'm just going to open that up so you can see. What you get inside here is a little plastic kit with all there, all the utensils and also two handles. And the reason you've got the two handles is what you can do is you connect them on to the pan and you can either use it like a sandwich toaster where you put something in the middle here and clamp it down 
and cook it on the, the grill. The great thing about that, if you sorry, if you cook it on the, the hob, the great thing about that is you can turn things over without making a mess. If you're cooking bacon, it doesn't splatter all over the place. I absolutely love it. The other great thing about the Compact Connect is you can take them apart and actually cook twice as many things. So if you had maybe vegetables in one and meat in the other or something like that, absolutely fantastic piece of kit and I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. I've also seen other videos on YouTube where people put things like fish cakes in there, steaks, uh, lamb chops, all sorts of things, as well as toasties. So it is, it is a fantastic piece of kit and I highly recommend it. Now the next item on my list, and this is again related to food and drink, there's a common theme here developing, is the Outwell Collapse Kettle. So obviously as you can see, it uh, folds down nice and neatly to store in your van. Uh, it pops up, it's like a silicon centre part here, pops up, silicon lid, and well, it's a kettle, what more can I say, but absolutely fantastic, great piece of kit because what I tend to do is if I'm out in the van for work or wandering about, I'll fill this up, I'll measure a, a cup's worth of water into it, put just an extra little bit in there, stick it on the gas burner, have my cup of coffee, and then I'll pour the dregs of the hot water into the sink just to do my washing up afterwards. Um, fantastic piece of kit. It's great. We've uh, gone away with the kids and have four of us in the van before, and um, this is absolutely plenty. I think this is the one and a half litre one. Again, got from Amazon, and it's about £37. Okay, so the next bit isn't exactly going to set your world on fire. Well, hopefully it'll do the exact opposite. So, fire extinguisher. It's the one thing that you often overlook when you're first setting out to get your van. Um, I'm not going to make, recommend a specific make here. We got this one on Amazon again, just for simplicity. It comes with a mountain bracket that you could mount onto your van, but to be quite honest, I don't really want a fire extinguisher sitting somewhere on my van like this all the time for us to bump our heads on, things like that. So I've just kept keep mine in my cupboards, uh, so it's handy. But goodness, I wouldn't want anything to ever happen to anyone and uh, you, you know, you are going to be cooking in your van, you're using naked flames and things like that. So for my uh, own peace of mind, I think fire extinguisher, although as I say, it's not exactly the most exciting piece of kit, probably one of the most uh, important. Okay, in at number five, charging leads. I've got two kids, seven and ten, and there's no way I could imagine going anywhere without internet or somewhere to charge their devices. So. What I've done is I've just bought an array of charging leads specifically for the van. These don't come out the van, therefore we can't go away without them. The next item on my list is um, really important for me because what I do is I use the van for work as well. So I, uh, I'm a surveyor, I go around the, around the country, visiting various sites, and I'll take my laptop with me. And when, it's, uh, when I'm in between meetings or I want to stop in between meetings... Um, I pop my laptop on the table, get a brew on, and I'm nice and comfortable in the van. I can actually work in the van all day really comfortably. But the one thing that's really opened that up is uh, this. It's a 12-volt USB-C ended uh, laptop charger. I didn't know such a thing existed, but I saw some comments on one of the Facebook groups that I'm part of. And actually, thanks to Colin Charlesworth from one of the other YouTube channels, which is Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures for recommending that I get one of these because this has absolutely revolutionized the way I work. Fantastic, you can be out all week and uh, just charge your laptop off, off the van. Next item on my list, I'm not actually going to bring out and show you because it's a big bulky item, is screen covers. So when we got the van, we went on and bought a screen cover that wraps around externally on the um, on the window of the van, on the front screen and the side screens, hooks onto the door, and it's by Fuel Lagoon. And if you go onto the Fuel Lagoon website, you'll see that you get all sorts of different eyes and colours and things. And we thought that was a really fun thing to do. Um, the one downside about the wraps that go on the outside of the van is, of course, when it rains, you end up with a very soggy screen cover to go um, back into your van somewhere. So I have been away on several occasions where it's got absolutely soaking wet and found that to be a real drag. So what I've done recently is I've gone on to Caravans and I've got the uh, thermal interior cover, which is great for the winter. It just slots into the into the, the windscreen in the side windows. It's got some sticky on cups that you just stick onto the windows. Straightforward enough, and I actually find it helps reduce the condensation as well. So I really do rate the interior stick uh, window screens for the for the winter time but i have to say i do really like the the eyes on the screen for the summer time so we'll probably be using both okay what we've got here is a kind of two in one i suppose this item here is a folding fire pit 
Again, Amazon purchase, I think it was about £20, £25, something like that. And in here, you've got the legs and the metal basket. So you assemble it just like you would, it's kind of almost like a tent in a way. Put the legs together, fold them all out, and in that basket, what I've found is, you can get these from some of the cheaper stores like B&M and places like that. I think Tesco's do them too. This, uh, this is a heat log, there's lots of different kinds. You basically set fire to the end, stick it on top of the uh, fire pit, and that will burn for an hour or two, and that gives you a good start to your fire. Absolutely excellent for sitting out under the stars, getting a wee fire going, quick and easy, and because you're elevated off the ground with a folding fire pit, it doesn't leave a scar on the ground, which is absolutely fantastic. Another item that I wouldn't do without, and something again I didn't know about before doing research, is this simple thing. So obviously this is this is one of the ends that you get with uh, camper vans. It's a special fitting that you get for your power hookup, your electrical hookup. And what you do is you simply get this attachment so you can plug it into your garage or into your house. You can run the extension cable out to your van. And when you're sitting on your drive, uh, working in the van or something like that, you can have it on power up and just hook up to the electrical uh, mains. And therefore you've got uh, electrical hookup at home. Or what we've been using it for actually is when we go and visit friends, you can um, ask to borrow their power and fire the electrical hookup on and that way you can stay in your van you're not imposing on them and another freedom that we've got with uh, with the camper van i love it here's a couple of tips for you just small things that just make a little bit of difference in your life again obviously we just uh, we're talking about electrical hookup at some point so you're going to have electrical hookup but you've also got your water pipe the one thing I've got is just a standard hose lock end for a hose pipe. The reason I bought that is when you go and fill up your water in your tank, if you've got a tap at the actual point in the campsite you're at, the water, when you turn the tap on, obviously just comes out. If you pop one of these onto the end of your hose, you've actually got a locking me mechanism so you can turn the tap on, hold on to this, the water doesn't come out, and then go to your tank. Sounds like such a stupid, simple thing, but again, that was a uh, learning from experience, turning up on a campsite and having to walk 10 metres with a, a hose pumping out full volume water all the way until I got to the van spraying it all over the place. The other thing is some campsites uh, don't supply these. That's just the um, the end tap. It's got two screws here, so two different uh, size threads. I don't actually remember the uh, sizes of them. But basically, it's got an adapter there and the main part there. And that just screws onto the tap in the campsite so that you've got a connection to put your your uh, water hose onto. So that's those two there. The last item that I'm going to show you today is the Thetford 365 Porta Potty. Again, it's been an absolute lifesaver, especially with two younger kids. You go somewhere, inevitably you get the call of nature and you know you don't want to have to try and find services in the middle of nowhere, especially if you're way up in the Highlands in the north of Scotland or something like that. So being able to just pull over somewhere, close all the curtains down and let someone go for a quick pee absolute godsend. I'm going to run some b-roll just now so you can see it. I've seen some of the forums online showing that you can get covers for them, you can use an ottoman to cover it, turn it upside down and cover it over the top of it and use it as a seat. I've actually not found one big enough for the uh, 365 version that we've got, so that might be one thing to consider. Do you need such a big toilet as the 365? But let me show you it just now and you can make your own mind up. What I tend to do with the Thetford um, Porta Potty as well is I've got a couple of bungees on it. So basically it can bungee to the back of the swivel seat, hooks into where the screws are for swiveling the seat. And that just makes sure that you're not going to end up tipping your Porta Potty all over the back of the van when you go round the roundabout, which would be pretty rank. Last but not least, there's a series of USB connected rechargeable lights that you can get. Now they're on uh, magnetic mounts that you can um, stick one side onto your van somewhere and have the uh, magnetic mount on it and it just sits. So I've put them in my cupboards and I've put them at the rear of the van. So anytime that I'm there and open the cupboard, it automatically comes on. It's got a sensor on it. It'll come on, light up the cupboard. And again, it doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night or pitch black, you can still see in the cupboard. So I absolutely love these, highly recommended. Okay, so that's my rundown of top things that you'll need when you're in your camper van. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it as a new channel. It would be really great if you could hit that um, subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you're notified the next time we release a video. Massive thanks for coming to us and uh, we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.